Now welcome to this last version of Xmonad. We were discussing about an alternative bar on uh, Discord and the result is that we have now an XMO bar. Thanks to Nick and thanks to Cryf001 on Discord, we've um, built a new bar, an alternative bar to the polybar. And that's the one you're looking at. This is the polybar. Now changing uh, the application, uh, the bar, is quite easy and everything is also explained on the beta pages if you can uh, look there as well but it's simple to just remember here you just go ahead well first you do an update because you need to have this the, the latest uh, library updates from all the repos if that's done pretty sure that's done okay we have an update here let's do let's let's uh, do this update it's a system d thing so when we do that, you do a sudo, well, let's take another wallpaper first. Okay, sudo, and now pacman minus s, Arch Linux, and then xmonad. If you start typing that, you have the possibilities right in front of you. Now, <coughs> xmonad git, the first one you see here, is the one with polybar. Since we have now two versions, I've made a new package, which is called xmonad polybar. So if you want to have polybar, you install this guy. It's the same as this one. This will disappear, the first one, and it replaces or is replaced by xmonad polybar. And if you want to have xmonad xmo bar, then you install this one. And that's basically all you need to know. So if we have already the polybar kit. We can, of course, write over it. So this guy is now installed and this guy is, is ready to be installed, but there's no difference between them. So I'm going straight to the other bar, XMO bar, and it's going to, Pacman is going to take care of it, say, hey, you want to try another bar, but the files and the folders are the same. We have a separate Xmonad configuration to be able to work with XMO bar, to be able to work with Polybar, so we'll have two packages to maintain. So you want to really move, I um, well move to XMO bar, then I need to remove polybar. So yeah, okay, go ahead. And he's going to get rid of um, polybar, that's the line here, get rid of it, minus, and he's going to install the XMO bar, git, okay. So yes, fine, go ahead. The two things to remember, two rules if you switch, first do a scale, right? New data in is installed in etc scan. So you need to copy paste the new xmonad uh, over there. That's one. And two is to log out. So super x l log back in. And you have your xmo bar up the top. And you see there is a blue icon already, meaning hey, we have an this is the Pac-Man one and this is a war. So we have, it seems, a PKSY way to do, and that's going to show you all the information. So these two guys need to be updated. But um, everything depends where you are, on what system you are, if you want to update, the beta page is there. This is G-simple call that needs to be installed, otherwise it won't work. Uh, this thing that's, that's blue now here, is uh, check update slash awar or minus awar. So some of the applications um, need to be installed if you're on Arch Linux B, an old one, or on Arch Linux D. But basically, if you just install Arch Linux B 19031 from our Google Drive at this point in time, it later on on uh, SourceForge, then everything will be just fine. And the only thing you need, and let's switch back as well. Uh, only thing you need to remember is to these two rules. So either you like this bar, which has no system icons, you will never have system icons because of stability and design. And if you want to have uh, the polybar, you just go back. It says you want to switch again. Yeah. Okay. Switch. Yes. And then the one XMO bar is being uninstalled, as you see here, minus, and polybar is back, but it's not back on your system. It's back in scale. So you do a scale, super x log out, log back in, and all the files kick in, polybar kicks in, and xmonad, the new xmonad kicks in.
So it's a choice you we can provide you. We have an XML bar, we have a polybar, and uh, you choose and, and have fun with it. All right, cheers.